How's it going guys? This is Kevin. Today I have a goal to make a wooden backdrop for product photography. So I kind of wanted to have you guys join me today and just see how it goes. Uh, if you've ever been wondering to make a wooden backdrop for product photography or just to kind of have at your house for decoration or something along those lines, uh, maybe this will help you out. Uh, it's going to be a learning experience for me so hopefully you'll learn something with me and I'm excited to go um, get the products. So one of the things that I've been trying to accomplish um, is putting myself out there to kind of create a little bit more things with photography and videography. Uh, right now, one of my main focuses is try to create a little bit more dynamic in my product photography. Use things that I have around the house for things that people would want to sell so they can be encouraged to kind of go out on their own and start selling some of the stuff they don't use at home. Uh, recently, I kind of got into it a little bit more, so something that kind of intrigued me a bit. So. That's where I got this idea to make this wooden backdrop to kind of have a way to kind of emphasize on the product itself. My main idea is basically making a wooden backdrop like this, where they'll have this part of the wooden backdrop and also a wooden backdrop like this, so that you can lay um, your product and then you can have the backdrop itself as well. And kind of do a little bit of props and stuff to emphasize on the product itself. Time to go to Home Depot and see what we can find. So finally arrived to Home Depot, it's time to go explore and see what we can find. So hopefully we can get what we need and what we want. So I think what we need is this. Well, now that we picked our wood and the wood glue, now we're trying to get some um, stainer and then we'll go from there to go home and put it all together. Now we're headed home to assemble it together and hope for the best. Uh, it's a very big learning experience. Um, it's kind of been a little bit intimidating to go check it out at Home Depot and see what I want and all the options and prices. But I'm hoping that this will work out for the best and hopefully it'll be a great product uh, wooden backdrop. So let's check it out once we get home and start assembling it. Alright, so now we're home, so let's get to building and see what we can make out of this. So the first step that I want to do is measure out these into thirds so that I can basically make holes for this because I want to be able to kind of conjoin them together with the glue and kind of put like as if they were wooden nails just so that it kind of has a grip in between them so they don't just fall apart even if the glue doesn't hold as well. All 
right, now that there's the holes in the wood planks, we're going to be cutting up the wooden stick to be able to put into the hole so that way when we put the glue, it'll hopefully hold better and that way we can keep it together and let it dry up. So it's already kind of sprinkling outside, so I decided to bring it in inside and use one of my merch tables for my van just so that I don't mess up my nice furniture. And hopefully everything will go smoother and we can start getting everything set up. Now that I have my holes cut out, it's time to um, insert the little rods that I cut out just to make sure they're aligned, put them all in there. And then from there, just kind of piece it together and hope for the best. Boom. And there we go. So the next thing to do is do the liquid nails and get our trusty dandy glue gun and start putting the glue in between the boards so that they can be put together and then just dry off before everything else can move on. So now that they're glued together, I'm going to let them dry up a bit. Um, I don't have wooden clamps, so I was going to get some, but I was trying to do a different method. Sadly, it didn't work out, but you always adapt and improvise. So I think it should be fine. pretty much dry. Now we can kind of just check it out on this side. We gotta get it ready for the staining. So. So the first round of staining is done. I'm gonna let these dry up and then see how it goes. And then if I need to apply more, I will. I'm not really looking for anything specific. I'm just kind of winging it to see what the color will be and how good it'll look and see if I want to add anything else to it. So we'll check back later. All right, I think enough time has passed by. So let's go check out how the stain has finished on the wood and see if we can take a couple test shots with some products. So that's the finish of it. So let's do some product photography and see how it turns out.
anyways guys that's the final product hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully you learned something with me obviously i learned quite a bit uh remember to use gloves because i learned that the hard way but i kind of had a lot of fun figuring out how to do this and hopefully you will learn how to do it yourself if you ever need to make your own wooden backdrop and i'll catch you next time see you thank you for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and like and share with a friend if you know that they will need this and until next time bye